Hey guys, welcome back to The Dangen. On today's episode, we're going to review a brand new immersive sound system for your home theater. This is a WISA system and it's by Platin and it's called the Mylan 5.1, so stick around. Thanks for tuning in guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below. On today's episode, like I said, we're gonna review a brand new WISA system from Platin. This is the Mylan 5.1 surround sound system. This is a wireless system that you can set up in your home theater. It's super versatile and right now we're gonna to get to unboxing it. Now let's take a look at what comes with the Mylan sound system. In the box, you'll find six six-foot power cables, your quick start guide, a USB cable, the WISA SoundSend wireless audio transmitter, two rear satellite speakers, two front satellite speakers, one center channel speaker, and the large subwoofer. The subwoofer measures roughly five and a half inches and the width is about 15. Uh, that also includes a depth of only about 12 inches, so it's very low profile and you can actually fit it into some convenient locations, like even under your couch. At a price point of $899.99 on their website, Platin really does give a super affordable option for a 5.1 sound system that includes everything and there's no mixing and matching uh, of little components that you might be worried don't sound the same with your system as you integrate them. This has everything in one box for one price, and it really is a solid option for those looking for a good home theater in a box with some great sound. All right, guys, for this portion of the video, we're gonna do some filming upstairs in the media room that houses my ultra short throw projector. So this room does not have a current sound system unlike the Dangen in the basement there. So we're gonna set up the WISA system up here. 5.1, so there are, I have the speakers placed out already where I uh, can put them. I don't want to put them in these exact spots, but I do not have speaker stands to hold some of them, especially for the rear surrounds. So no big deal, we still wanna get the system up and running and I can show you guys exactly how that works. Uh, on the left end of, these, of the uh, table that I have set up here with the Xbox and the PlayStation and the projector, I have the, uh, the left side speaker, the left front, the center channel in the here, and the right speaker to the right. In the back, you have your back left surround, your back right surround, and then the subwoofer is down here by my feet. Uh, what it's asking us to do next is plug in each of the speakers with the provided power cable. So there are six different power cables that this uh, WISA system from Platin comes with. Each one has to go into its own wall outlet. So make sure if you're setting this up in a room uh, in your home that you have uh, some power outlets or at least extension cords or something that you can hide in all different locations. So that way you can have each speaker powered up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that portion of the video started. Okay, so one of the only things that is different than the rest of the speakers, the speakers all plug into your standard power outlets uh, with a just a power cord plug, uh, two-prong plug. The um, WISA wireless speaker and audio receiver uses a micro USB cable and a USB adapter for the wall. So um, you can tell these apart. You can actually buy this WISA unit separate. So let's plug that in too. Don't forget that it's just a different type of connection. And we'll put that right here centrally located. Okay guys, for this portion of the video, remember you're gonna wanna download the WISA SoundSend app. 
Uh, you can get this on Android or iPhone app stores. Just make sure you check um, that it's compatible with the Weiss sound system that you purchase. Okay, for one of the last steps, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that whatever device you're using, whether this is going to be going in a room that has a TV or a room that has a projector, you're going to plug in with an HDMI cable, the WISA receiver, the sound send receiver into the arc port of your projector or television. So I've done that here, now I'm gonna go back to the back of the WISA unit and plug that in there. Keep in mind all of those steps are available using your quick start guide. So make sure you follow your instructions. Like I said, it's super easy to do. Okay, one of the next steps too, make sure you power on your subwoofer. There's just a power switch underneath on the back. Switch that to on. All right, next step, we're powering up the projector and we're going to use our input device, which in this case, I'm gonna use the Xbox Series X to play some content. All right, on the screen, we have the Xbox Series X. The next thing we're going to do is connect the WISA system. We'll go in and we'll make the changes to the audio connection here. Output device right now says built-in speaker. We're gonna use HDMI ARC. Okay, crew. Once you get everything set up and turned on, the WISA connection unit should be showing a white LED in the front. If for some reason it's blinking green or your speakers don't seem to be making any sound, make sure you go into the advanced settings of the app in that setting, they have a scan for my speakers selection. Make sure you hit that. It should pick up all of the different speakers that you have set up around the room. So the next thing that we are going to do is make sure that everything is set up. Um, you can go through, there are four tabs, speaker trim, speaker settings, audio settings, advanced settings. Um, it tells you exactly what your different levels are for each speaker. Um, in speaker trim, in the speaker settings, you can select what each different speaker is programmed for. In this case, uh, I have it all set to action since I'll be setting this up in a gaming setting. Uh, and then you can select the audio settings. Do you need to adjust your um, the timing on lip sync for a movie or any type of um, uh, volume or audio issues, your different adjustments when it comes to bass management, your highs, your mids, your lows. And then once again, back into your advanced settings, you can check the channels, the audio format, and just look at all your different device information. So now let's see what it sounds like with just the Xbox Series X powered on. I'm going to use the Dolby app on Xbox for this particular demonstration. Here's a little sound test for you guys. I'm not sure how well you can hear it out of my microphone, but I'll crank it real quick. The system puts out a, a, a like really good sound. Plenty. All right, now we're gonna check it out and see how it sounds with some Halo Infinite. The other cool thing about this is it immediately picked up the signal from my remote. So as long as you have it playing with ARC through your device, your TV or your projector, 
um, the universal remote for those uh, um, units works just fine. All right, so right now I have the volume at about 43 out of 100. it up a little bit more. Now I've got it at 65. Probably took me more time to set up the speakers in different spots in the room than it did to actually get the WISA system up and running. All you need to do, put the speakers into their power outlets, set up the WISA, diff uh, the WISA receiver, plug it into your HDMI arc, turn on your different devices or run it right through your TV or projector's home system and play your content. The next thing that you'll need to do, obviously, to fit your room correctly is adjust all your different speakers and the distances, and you'll have the best audio experience you can get out of this device. All right, guys. Well, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and me setting up the new WISA system in my house. This is a nice affordable speaker package that really allows a ton of versatility in your home. So make sure you check out their website in the link below and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again for joining me here on The Dangen. Hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. No,